Sometimes portrait photos might have dust and scratches and specks in them. And it's not always easy to see where they are. They're not as noticeable when the photo is just in normal mode. So here's one way to really notice where there are specks or scratches or dust. By the way, I would highly suggest not using, if you go to filter and then noise and dust and scratches to remove dust and scratches, all it does really is blur. I'm going to just exaggerate it a lot. So you just kind of blurs the photo. You lose a little bit of uh, image quality. If you do use that, make sure you create it on a new layer and then mask out the entire layer and just brush some areas to show through where there are dust and scratches. So it's just selectively applying it. So one method to be able to see where, say, there's stray hairs or dust or, or scratches or specks is just click on the bottom of the layers panel to create a new adjustment layer and then go to curves and then click and drag around here and just bring it way up and then click and drag right around here and bring it way down. So it goes up and then down then back up and it looks almost like a negative over here. The reason I have that is because now you can actually see where there are some stray hairs that you might not have seen otherwise. Or for example, if you have a blemish, if there's a freckle, not a big deal, but let's just say there's another kind of blemish and you want to remove it. Keeping that on there and just toggling the visibility during our edits, it's a really good method to be able to see stray hairs or dust or scratches and, and specks on the photo. Another method is to click on the create a new adjustment layer and go to black and white. And that's the same thing. Uh, when there's no color in it, it's just grayscale. Sometimes things will stand out like uh, dust or specks in the background or even some stray hairs and, and scratches, things like that. All right, so that's just a technique. Just keep that layer available, that adjustment layer, so that we can toggle it throughout our edits to see areas that we might not see otherwise.